Now I'm going to show you something that is going to totally blow your rocks off. Hi. How are you? Hello. I think you guys got a new band out in here. And there we are. <laughs> Happy Eric, ones, Eric. We do. Jay. What's up, guys? <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Happy Wednesday. If uh, Jay doesn't cut Be me off again. <laughs> oh, this fucking guy. <laughs> Slap him in his face. Or is that is that cunt doing it now? You guys, you guys are spit my coffee. <laughs> All right, awesome. There we go. And there he is. I ain't Cunt, doing that. Cunt Stop. himself. <laughs> Look, the both of them got haircuts today. Look at them. Kurt's bouffant is nice and tight. Going in the military. Is that what you tell him? You need the military cut? No. You said you've had the same haircut for 17 years. I, I, I don't think I've seen you with that one before. Probably seven years. That's kind of like... Uh... <laughs> it's, it's along those lines. Yeah. Except he didn't have... Pee Wee didn't have the tight on the sides, I guess. And then you didn't have yeah. that public masturbation look going either. So. <laughs> no, no. Kurt's doing well. He is. Yeah. What's going on, Caleb? Who, me? Yes, sir. Not much. What's going on with your microphone? Is there something wrong? It's Are you growing, out, you growing out a mustache? Super low. You're just mustaching? Oh, I have a goatee, but it's dark up here, and then <laughs> it's... uh, That's the shits. It's white down here. Do you, do you still have the John Wayne Gacy glasses? You got to put those on with the mustache. Oh, <laughs> check the stash. <laughs> Where are they? Oh, oh, Bryce Regal, the Regal Beagle, the Regal Beagle. Here we go. <laughs> now we're hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. <laughs> Where's the serial Damn. killer music? Ah. Now, <laughs> now we're uh, uh, first, we're gonna check out your crawl space. <laughs> oh. we're the summer nights. Hard to play. Yeah. The summer nights. Yeah. It's hard to play without a trans trim. Anybody wants to chip in for? Let's start a GoFundMe for a trans trim for Caleb. So. It's hard to play with all that with all that soot on your fretboard. Yeah, ch change my life. <laughs> you need an Amazon wish list and you'd be all set. That's right. Change We're gonna start around. one tonight. Yep, and then you can get that fold-up bike you wanted. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Change the lights for summer nights. Change the lights for summer nights. <laughs> it's Wednesday, uh, March twenty seventh. Brian, did you say that already? What? Yeah, until I was so rudely cut off. Yeah, I don't know who was doing that. What a dick, Frank yeah. Cochran. Yeah. What about him? He's here. Oh, he's here. He's okay. Here. Says hello. This is well wishes. Hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Jay, you called me earlier tonight when I was getting yeah. my bouffant trim. What the fuck did you want? Um, he wanted to I tell you what was what he did all day today, <laughs> which was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I fixed my toilet, and did I fixed you? the the valve that you know feeds the toilet because that was uh, you know, clogged up. So yeah. No, not clogged up, but it wasn't. Uh, you know. Had to fix the inside guts of the tank, right? I had to pull them all out, replace them. And I closed the valve and it was still running. So I had to get a new fucking thing. 
Can't believe I did it. Sometimes I surprise myself, boys. Yeah. I don't know where I'd I'm be proud. without you, Jay. I'm proud mm -hmm. of you, Jay. Yeah, me yeah. too. Hey, you guys asked. I wasn't going to tell you that I fixed the fucking toilet. Yeah, and I was asking why the fuck you call me. What'd you want? Um, I don't know. Probably to talk about something with the bears. Huh. Bears? The bears. No, no. I saw the uh, that video you sent me with my man with the hot hot pink lips and uh, <laughs> the uh, pink telephone. Yeah, well, we'll talk about that later. But uh, is Jay Scarlett in the guitar noir? Well, you know what? I found the photo, and I think I'm going to have to do a little uh, funning up. I'll try Doc to get, yeah, doctoring up. I'll, I'll try to get it done by next. Uh, Oh, you haven't done it already? No. Oh, man. No. Wait. Now, hold on. Everyone in the chat's wondering, is this the bidet toilet or a yeah. different one? No, it's the bidet toilet. Yep. Were you yeah. down for a while? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Because I had to replace the valve, too. So I didn't know what the hell was going on. So Did you luckily, step up your, uh, your shower game when the bidet didn't work? <laughs> yeah, I just shit in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> He set up and just holds him down outside. <laughs> Jeannie, come here. <laughs> well, that's loud. So anyway, luckily I ran into a plumber at Lowe's, and he said they they don't carry that valve at Lowe's. You got to go to Home Depot. We don't carry that valve at yep. Lowe's. Yeah, Lowe's with the town. So I had to go to Home Depot. And get it so yeah. you know next time i'll go live when i'm doing this shit how about that <laughs> surprised you didn't call me i'm pro lows too jay i don't like home depot you know what it is it's the lighting <laughs> <laughs> the lighting in lows is friendlier right and you go to yeah. home depot and it's like i can't see shit <laughs> i can't you, see you know it why they, do that? they try to make it look like a warehouse that makes sense because it does look like a warehouse yeah yeah, you're right. I don't like either of them. Because whenever you need someone, there's no one to be found. Especially and then, now. And then when you don't need shit, what can I do for you? Nothing. It's just... Well, I Jay needed the shit. That's why he was there. That was the problem. I think I've had many discussions with Jay while in the public restroom. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Jeannie, the toilet's broken. I'm going to Lowe's to take a shit. <laughs> 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 I used to check in. Remember Facebook? <laughs> well, remember, remember Facebook. When I used to actually be active on Facebook, probably about 10 years ago, whenever I'd shit in public, I would check in at that toilet. Just in case anybody's wondering. Yeah, I, I like to, uh, back in the I day, too. on the book face, I used to uh, create locations that didn't exist. Like mm. I would, my house was Mordor, so I would get home and post from Mordor or friend of mine i um called it the uh casey anthony child care center so every mm. time i'd go to his house so when they look it up on the map it goes directly to your house and it says mordor yes so they know where mordor is Absolutely. sounds like you had some fun on facebook i did <clears throat> there uh, was some fun times on the on the book face definitely but it's then, hard to get away from who to which pages i should follow man it's just all over my feed. Pretty crazy. What's been what on your feed lately? Oh, just a bunch of porn. No. Um athletes <laughs> <laughs> and guitars. Uh I don't know, like uh a lot of like feel good stuff, which is cool, but it's almost like too much. Too doctor much feel good. Too much feel good. Too much doctor feel good? Like you, you, you click on one video, then they they send you every kind of page related to that. So yeah. it's 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 a mess. I'm I'm getting way overloaded with it, and uh, I need a break. I'm out of here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to request isolation. So. Oh shit! I got to send Ka uh, Cameron that. God damn it, Cameron! I'm sorry if you're watching. Uh, Boy, that is loud, Caleb. It's louder than your voice. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, the last time I was on Bookface, it was in the 
blow bangs. It was, it was like, it's time for me to go. It was blow bangs on other people's channels. Mm -hmm. mm. I see Pretty that. Amazing. Speaking of other people's channels, we got Ryan. OU812 is here. What's going on, Ryan? How are you? What's up, Ryan? Here he is. Some An R2, R3, locking nut, who's been giving us all's all. So thank you, R2, for helping us out here when I uh, wrench. when we don't we don't know what's going on. Appreciate it. That was gonna say, what happened? Did did was that a did who, who did he pay, who did he pay off for that one? Executive decision by me. Wow. Well, I guess hold on. All right, now we're right. In the green room, Brian's like, did you ask Jay? And I said, I don't ask Jay shit. That was the true, true I conversation. Caleb. Caleb said, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Caleb says, like, do it. What did I say? <laughs> Etna's here. Do What's up, Etna? This is episode 92. We're, we're eight away from 100. Do we have a date figured out? Which Where's 100? That'd be eight weeks from today. Can anyone count? My math yeah. skills are correct. Jay and I can do the math for you. We'll let yeah, you guys see. know next week. <laughs> yeah. What do, are we doing anything special for the hundredth episode? No. In fact, we are. We are, huh? Aren't We're we adding giving, a zero. Aren't we giving something away? Oh, that's <laughs> uh that's our two year anniversary. Yeah, that's a hundred and four. Oh, that'll be at 104? Yeah. Yes. 52 it, times two, baby. Or well, maybe we'll give something else away. Didn't we skip a week? Yeah, we did. We missed a week. Beesman. Oh, yeah. So I'm no. trying to fucking mathematician us here. Got my uh, abacus, though. My trusty well, abacus. Caleb brings up a good point about a giveaway. Tonight. Tonight! You see that? Big bucket of kernels on uh, Mr. Easter Bunny's lap there, all buttered up. <laughs> What's he hiding in there? Well, <laughs> you got to win it to find out. We're, kernels is giving away tonight on the Under the Bus Network for Easter. They're giving away a two-gallon bucket of popcorn. Damn. Wow. And giving away the, um, the shirt Kurt's wearing as well with all the genitalia all over it. <laughs> That's a great shirt. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, we got to make that. I think that's got to be an under the bus shirt coming up. Yeah. yeah, we were going to do a poll on it and we decided not to. But speaking of polls, I see on top of the page there's a nice little delicate flower on top oh, of the you yellow. Should have, you should have asked the, the everybody in the chat if they could find the Easter egg. Damn it. Yeah. You see it, Caleb? The secret, the secret uh, headphones? Yeah. <laughs> the secret there headphones. Is. There he is. Yep. At the Santa Cruz tulip. <laughs> so tonight we're giving away a two gallon fucking tin. Make sure you have a loading dock at your house because it's that big. Two gallons. Yep. Wow. And when we do this giveaway, whoever wins it, now I was informed continental United States only. So Cameron Brown, you can't win it. I'm sorry. So well. Uh, false flag you can't win it i'm sorry um so as soon as whoever wins sorry send your email address as the show is happening to tonight get, because kernels wants to ship it out tomorrow so you get it in time for easter because the easter bunny is going to eat all of that shit that is correct that's, that's very nice of you shay god mm -hmm. bless you god bless her holy shit Speaking Kurt, you got it. The weather's perfect. <laughs> you take your kids to go get a photo with the Easter Bunny. You know we haven't. Well, at the yeah, but not like it's at a farm that we go to to do an Easter egg hunt with the kids. Mm -hmm. So they have an East. You know they have like a thing set up and they have an Easter Bunny sitting out there in fucking eighty degree weather, <laughs> <laughs> sweating his or her ass off, in that thing. Do, so yeah. Do do any of those bunnies creep you out? Have you ever seen him? You're just like, what the fuck is this? Usually, it was probably when I was a kid, they were probably scarier looking. Yeah. Brian? Intentionally. Yeah, yeah I saw an Easter bunny wearing a thong recently. It was weird. So, yes, it definitely creeped me out. What kind of shit are you watching? <laughs> Caleb? 
I, I think it's, I think we're some weird, weird human beings in this country. Uh, That's a good way to put it. <laughs> um, you got the Easter Bunny who, 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 who goes by your property and la- leaves a bunch of eggs, right? Right. Yes. On your yeah. property, on your property. Then you got, you got Santa Claus who, who comes down your chimney, right. And leaves a bunch of shit in your living room. Yeah. Right. Right. Tom oh, trespassers, a lot of then, trespassers. Then, but then we got the tooth fairy who literally goes in under your kid's pillow next to your kid's <laughs> head, yep. right. Moves your kid's head, takes his teeth. Yeah. And then on Halloween, out. we send that our is kids. That, then we yeah. send our kids to to strangers' houses. Take m- candy from strangers. <laughs> Don't take candy from strangers. <laughs> except, <laughs> except on this day, take all the candy. And if you got the Sandman, he comes in your night, your room every night, sprinkles a little dust, a little meth, makes you fall right? asleep. That's creepy. So. <laughs> so I got a few. Uh, I got a few. <laughs> I got a few photos um, that I thought were pretty good for Easter. So these that, two kids look Is horrifying. that you and Cole Eastwood back in the day? Yes. Oh. I wish. I mean, that they're just going to be pissed at their parents for years for these photos. Scarred. Yeah. I mean, that bunny's <laughs> trying to eat both their heads. <laughs> it's eating both of their heads. Right? Nothing, <laughs> nothing more pleasing to a child than a stuffy, large stuffy come to life and holding you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, some of that these. That looks aggressive. Slipknot yeah. masks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like they're both making the same face. Right? Is that, that guy's going to be on Bean's company next week. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, whatever Quentin's talking about, we don't care, Quentin. Whatever it is. Look at this creep boy. Oh my god. <laughs> That's haunting. That kid can't get off that lap fast enough. No. Oh my god. Please. That's, please. that's a Stephen King book. Right? Please get me off of it. <laughs> god. <laughs> <laughs> There's Beesman. Did you have a haircut like that when you were four? No, I didn't have blonde hair either. I had like almost black Gray. hair. No, your I hair was white already when you were fucking five. Dude, I was 12 and I started going gray. So um, if that was me at 12, yes. But <clears throat> That Easter Bunny looks like he accidentally shut his mask in the door before he went to get photos taken. <laughs> look, at the, look at the mouth. <laughs> Adrian! Mouth! <laughs> mouth! <laughs> Meow. Oh my god. What? Whoa, 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 Kurt, Kurt. Whoa. What happened? Look at Dude. that. That's wrong. A blue bunny, huh? <laughs> what was that yeah. movie? Avatar? Abada. Yeah. Abada. <laughs> I never saw that movie. It yeah, looks like his eyes are open. Yeah, again. yeah, with the pink uh eyeliner. Yeah, it looks like the eyes are open for a second, and then you realize they're not, so it's less creepy. But to think that those eyes are open, super creepy. Is that a guy or a girl in the bunny suit? That's a dude. (laughs) But both. (laughs) (laughs) Looks like the bunny is biting the head of the baby. None of these are pleasing. No. Look Look at the fucking boots. (laughs) <laughs> look at those things they're like freaking styrofoam cinder blocks <laughs> looks like he's Hell, eating the head too on that one <laughs> Hellstorm. hold on where'd it go this is like a mancuda highlight film <laughs> yeah exactly what's up mancuda that girl can't sit any further away from this bunny jesus it's, it's gonna scar oh my god Oof. Damn. Does That's she look the, comfortable, Caleb? <laughs> That's from the 70s. Yeah. Jesus. It's, it's okay. That kid went out to you know the, the family truckster and didn't put a seatbelt on and rode home and made it home safe. So while her parents smoked in the car with the window. While her parents smoked, smoked and yeah. She probably rode in the back of the pickup. Remember those days? No, that's that still that's still allowed down here, by the way. 
It I is. Think, wow. Think, yep. Encouraged. Nope. No seatbelts or smoking? <laughs> All of the above. Yep. What do, you, what do you think about that? I mean, should it well, be it's allowed? Like, or? In, it's in town, like, you know, so it's it's one of those things like when it wasn't very populated around here, it was no big deal. Yeah. And people still want to do it. But you know what's going to happen. The second a whole fucking family gets, you know, thrown all over the highway. Not You can't do it on the highways and shit, but. Within, like we think, used to. Yeah. <laughs> within like, you know, within a few blocks of the ocean, like that whole ocean highway. And then all, the next. All road, the paint, like, all the paint chips flying around in your eyes. Remember? Like. <laughs> yeah. From the road. <clears throat> God, that was crazy. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, here's some girls from Caleb's era. Mm. <laughs> that. that one with the uh, bunny arm around her, she looks pleased. <laughs> See, that, that's Ted Bundy in the suit, and those are, those <laughs> girls are all dead. <laughs> He's like staring at this one that's on his lap. Look yeah, at that last known photo. She looks like she's she's feeling it. <laughs> his carrot, and not the stare. <laughs> hey guys, Jesus. Oh, flag, what's happening? <laughs> what? what the hell? <laughs> oh my god where are you finding did you google creepy easter pictures come on you did that is the worst easter bunny i've ever seen that's got to be like grandpa or something you know uncle bob <laughs> like, yeah. those are like fake bob. teeth that's his real eugene teeth. levy <laughs> it's eugene levy <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Look at the kid's face. Says it all. <laughs> That's terrible. What a terrible mask. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wearing a tutu around his neck. Terrible. <laughs> all right, a couple more. <laughs> this is so depressing. What the <laughs> hell is that? Dude, that, looks like, that looks guys. like an outline. That's awful. You say an outline or a mountain lion? An outline of oh. <laughs> you know, her junk. Yeah. That's terrible. Those corduroy pants back there that dude has? Yeah. I'm, hurt. I'm, I'm, I'm scarred. What about the guy in the white turtleneck, Jay, back there with the uh, aviator <laughs> glasses on? <laughs> wow. Hey there, Sonny. Won't you, <laughs> won't you rub up on me a little bit here? This guy right here, he lives in Santa Cruz. Yeah. <laughs> Still the same height. And hat and pants. I'm calling 1974 on that. Oh, pretty probably pretty close. Yeah. We're not even sure if this is a guy or a girl, but there is <laughs> some sort of bulge I'm, down below. I'm basically that kid's age. <laughs> oh my god. god. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Someone someone built that costume and went, yes, it's done. <laughs> Plaster Paris. It's done. Oh. I'm finished. Jesus. That's terrible. All right. I think there's one more. No. <laughs> <laughs> that bunny looks scared here. Oh. Look at that dude's oh. fupa. Is that a fupa? It's a watermelon. It's a gunt. Gunt? Yeah. Dude, what's up with that dude's leg? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like gangrene growing down. What the hell? It's got an oxygen. This is awful. Is, is, is my man rocking high socks? <laughs> he is. How He's did we make for, it uh, out of that era? Like, how did we make it out of that? Like, oh, that's <laughs> like a fight coming up, isn't it? Is that Rick Sutcliffe, formerly the former Rick pitcher of the Cubs on the left? <laughs> Dodgers. I got a pen in my pocket here just in case I need it. Jesus. Happy. Oh, <laughs> damn. You go. <laughs> Hell yeah. There you go. Jay likes that one. I think this is the last one. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even a bunny. That's a uh, gerbil with, with ears. It is. It is definitely we a gerbil. Almost get flagged for that one. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Wow. Happy Easter, everybody. <laughs> Way to go, Kurt. Good luck sleeping tonight. Kurt. The Chuck E. Cheese bunny. There you go. 
that's what it looked like. Remember when that was like the coup de gras of like f- uh, oh fucking God. birthday parties, man? Going to Chuck E. Cheese or uh, Showtime. Remember Showbiz Pizza? Same no. type of shit. It was like you couldn't get better than that. You know? What was that? Uh, what they call the those robots? There was like a name for it. I forget. Animatronic? Yeah, animatronic. That's what they still are. But I thought you meant like the group. No, no, just like the characters. Wow. And you sit far away from the stage and you it just looks like stage. Yeah. Remember uh Jeannie was mentioning this a couple weeks ago. Remember the uh McDonald's birthday parties? Hell yeah. Those were awesome. You know, remember the the one thing um it was like the hamburglar like you go up the i don't know and it was like a cage up top yeah Fucking dope. yeah the playground and then i'm sure i'm assuming yeah. that you know there was too many lawsuits happening you know kids throwing up in them getting hurt <laughs> jump into the cage of balls and there's snot all over them <laughs> fornication get on the carousel and get flagged for it <laughs> <laughs> you get shown on a youtube channel fucking 20 years later yeah and then you sue <laughs> you should almost shut down a channel <laughs> <laughs> shit yeah that's chuck e cheese i don't even know if the pizza was even good no it wasn't <laughs> no it's fucking terrible oh no, they they sold cardboard, <laughs> cardboard with cheese and sauce on it Jeez. A couple of years yeah, ago here in uh, wax. <laughs> in Connecticut, there was a huge brawl at a Chuck E. Cheese in Manchester, Connecticut. Nice. Yeah. It's a great place. Any, any details? Like, when did this happen? It was like two years ago. Like I two said. years ago? Yeah. Oh, no, hold on a second. Now I have more questions. There's a Chuck E. Cheese still open? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's st- really? Mm-hmm. Looks oh. like Ryan invaded a uh, McDonald's playground. I mean, invented. <laughs> It wasn't you, <laughs> Brian, right? It wasn't you. It was not. It was okay. not. I was not a part of it. I wish I was, but it was, I think there was guns. It was bad. Let me, I'll look it up for you. Yeah. Wow. Right oh. yeah. Way to bump up the ratings. Hell yeah. Hey, we got Andrew Big Cox Knox here. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> Good What's to up, see Andrew? you. Should we say hi to everyone? So sure. Mike is himself says showbiz had great pizza. I, can't, I want to go back and ask myself, is this shit good? Where Where is that chain? I, I know it was in um, Illinois when I lived there. It was showbiz. And then when, I remember when we moved to the Northeast, it was uh, Showtime or um, Chuck E. Cheese. Showtime Cinemas? Showtime, Showtime Cinemas, yeah. Primetime Pizza. <laughs> Primetime. Primetime. Was, yep. was it the same chain or was it a different, a whole different company all in all? We don't fuck. Why am I asking you guys? You don't fuck. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't oh, know. So Chuck E. Cheese bought Showtime Pizza. That's what Ryan... I'm not believing anything Ryan says right now, Simon Nats. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm wrong. About I'm sorry, the Ryan. I, I, I created a monster with that one. Oh. I lied. It was not two years ago. It was like seven years ago. Oh, well, I'm hey. fucking... I'm fucking no, dude, when you get older, I'm sure Caleb can attest to this. When you get older, <laughs> the, 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 this like something that I, happened. I, that's years. two older jokes in this in the same 10 minutes. Dude, what have you guys friend. been talking about in your secret thread? <laughs> those, those are your friends, Caleb. Those are your Great. friends. Yeah. My dad does the same shit. Oh, that was like two years ago when uh, something something like that. That was like 10 years ago. No, no way. Maybe like three years ago. I look it up. That was 12 years ago. He's like. No, it doesn't feel like that long ago. Are you sure? Yep. Brian's turning into that. Once you hit a certain age, dude, fucking shit is weird. And I think I talked about this before. Once I hit 40, all of a sudden I had like a hair on my ear. I'm like, what the fuck is that? So now I'm like perusing, making sure I don't have like weird shit growing off my face or my ears, you know? So he buys a chest shaver off of Instagram. And uses it on his nuts. (laughs) It was absolutely terrible. Yes. Did I hey, tell you guys about that before? No, oh, you told no, us in no. every other chat on YouTube. Now <laughs> he uses it to shave the ice off of his windshield on his car. 
<laughs> comes with a uh, car adapter. You can just plug it in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Car adapter. So, Kurt, you want to uh, do a quick roll call? Say hi to everyone who's here. Kurt. 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 Oh, fuck yeah. All right, here we go. Andrew Big Cox Knox is here. Can't drive 55. Really high. Christopher. Live. Soba. Oh. Guitar Man 45. Ooh. Hailstorm. Hip. That works. Jimmy fucking biter. <laughs> Jimmy fucking biter. John Chain. You OU812 channels here. Hi. Mike is well. Ryan from the OU812 channel. Check out this show on Thursdays and Sundays. Quentin James. What's up, Quentin? Kevin Bethel. Mitch Hammond. Not to be confused by Hannon. Close. 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 Nelson Rodriguez. Oh, sorry, Kevin. I'll get on that. I promise. I'll, I'll look. He's got a wrench. He's got a Sawzall R2, R3, Lockheed Nut. Ted Dirty Sanchez. Wall of Cries. Yostinator. Andy Carson. Mikey Mojo. Regal Beagle. Bryce Regal. William Billy Da Silva. False flag, Patty Dill. Lucy. You're right. And everyone else, Mad Dog. Two other stragglers slipping in. Joke Riddler. Here we go. You know we got to we got to just say Van Halen, Slipknot, Metallica, Iron Maiden. We got to say all the hot words right there. P P Diddy, Puff Daddy. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's definitely yeah. a hot. Monique's here. I buy stolen guitars is here. What's Moni, up? Moni, Moni, Monique. <laughs> <laughs> I buy stolen. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <Ta -da. laughs> hey, look who else is here. <laughs> Smash those thumbs ups. 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 Smash those thumbs. Oh shit! It's uh Zane Dimmerman. Zane Dimmerman, what's going on, you fuck? Why isn't this working? Wow. We're going straight to hell. Smash those thumbs up. <laughs> do, that again. do that again, Jay. Which one? This? Smash oh. those thumbs up. <laughs> wow. Smash those thumbs up. All right. Smash those thumbs up. <laughs> Is that that's going to be our entire what what the fuck are you doing tonight? It's going to be every angle of that ship hitting that bridge. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> Man, so summed up. <laughs> Smash him. Uh, yeah, you guys are funny. We funny. need like a, a a night bot like in our chat, right? Like talk like every third uh entry is a night bot. Or is that just Friday night? <laughs> every third entry is a night bot, and then every 13 minutes there's an ad that plays in the middle of your stream. Oh wow. god. Imagine doing that for four cents in ad revenue. Can we do that? We need Bye. we need, need a few bucks. <laughs> Yeah. I know when, when Kurt was showing the uh Easter bunny pictures, um, you know, some of those pictures obviously are from the 80s, from the 70s. Mm. Now, speaking of 80s, okay. Does anybody uh miss these haircuts? Oh, yeah. I kind of do. Now, if you could if you would, 
<laughs> which one would it be? All right, we'll do that first. We'll do if you if you if you had to pick one, who would you pick? Pick one like to to date, or right. pick one like that you wanted to, to look like. To date? What are we? What are we in, in church? Well, <laughs> pick one to plow. Yeah. Pick one to plow. Do we get to see the this hair? Is our, this is our new here. segment here, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. Pick, uh, pick one to plow. Okay? <laughs> pick one to plow. Gonna, we sh- why aren't they numbered? I mean, come on. <laughs> they, should be, they should be numbered. I'm, I'm looking closely. Like plowed the most. I'm Which looking closely. The most? Hmm. As long as the menorah and majora don't look like that hair, then we're all set. So, man, um, it's tough. It is tough, right? I'm gonna have to go to the last one. I was thinking the same thing. The bottom right, you know, me, because at least you can cut that hair and it looks. She has a nice face, but yeah, every yeah. other face, I'm like, Neh. thanks, Zane. You fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dane. Um, there's a few of them that have ledge hair. That's oh. like, Oh, ledge hair yeah you see, see where, where it says hair they go right above that in blue oh yeah yep yeah i think it's no no doubter is the last one yeah i'm with you <laughs> anybody else so um, hip metal works as third row far right yeah, yeah. i was gonna she, say uh, in sector seven going. sector seven g is not yeah seven. i'm oh, there with the one you, with yeah. the six head yeah, she looked like she's getting ready to go to prom. Yeah, she's uh, up my alley with my five head. So they, Jerry like has got it right. I th- I think they sell that mask at your buddy's fr- uh, place, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ohio. Yep. Man. So I'm trying to, th- you know, if I had to pick one of these hairdos to have Jeannie show up in, who would it be? <laughs> I, I, mean, I, know which one it would be. I know which one it would be. Third the bottom last. row, the third one? No, it would be the uh, second third row, part. third in, right on where it says 80s. Uh, what about the one next to her on the left? Would no, it, no. Oh. Looks like she never finished. She, she had run out of time. She had to catch the bus. She didn't finish it. There's God, a the lot one of right on the second on. row, all the way right. That is like, it looks like almost normal on the right side of her head. And then what? is going on on the left side yeah it looks like she's wearing one of those french hats what are those called yeah they wear on the side (laughs) no genie i'm saying if i had to pick one for you to wear that's the one i would choose i think genie before you got on he said he wished you looked like this yes he did (laughs) that's a true story (laughs) yeah tonight's episode of pick one to poke uh (laughs) no uh I, you know, I, I would lay, I would lay three to one that uh, that the next week's card is going to involve some of these hairdos. So, <laughs> <laughs> ooh, she's not bad. What? What? She looks like a fucking newt. Yeah. A newt, like Newt Gingrich. Jesus, that hair oh. looks like fifteen pounds. A gecko. All right, there you go. Oh, you're going lizard. I thought you were talking about like Newt Gingrich. Like no. just bring it all political. No. Oh God. Wow. You're gonna take this fucking picture? Yeah. Tony. <laughs> Stop the car. <laughs> yeah, I think she's probably sucked the most wiener. What? In high school. This one. Yeah. Try not to suck any dicks in the parking lot. Yeah. 37. <laughs> there we go, Caleb. I think so, yeah. man. She definitely had like the forehead for landing zone. That's for sure. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Oh, wow. Is anybody this, significant other? This is on the internet forever. Cool. It is. <laughs> so Jeannie said third row, fourth one. For what? For what? <laughs> Or Buffon, the blowout. That's the one you would have if you had to pick one? Are you talking about the chick? Hmm. Look at the girl's eyebrows all the way down at the bottom, second one in, in the blue. Oh, yeah. so Very inquisitive. Very inquisitive. Too much there. Ooh, Star Trek. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. How many of these girls do you think their names are Michelle? Or Tiffany. Yeah, look at this one. Brenda. <laughs> Brenda. She's probably got a strong neck. Oh my Stacey. god. Stacy. Yep. All right. Or you could just you could just litter the board with Jennifer's. <laughs> You don't hear those names much anymore. You know, everybody's got to have a fucking designer name like Killian. What ass Skyler. Are Gage. Yep. <laughs> yep. Gage. <laughs> Harper. Pet, come here, Harper. Come here. Pet Cemetery. Come here, Harper. 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 That's a name I hear a lot with little girls around here. Harper's Bizarre. Yeah, I think there's a Harper in Ellie's class. Did I have anything else? <laughs> I did have one other thing. Unless we're still talking about hairdos or hair. I dome. think we're good. I think okay. we're good. I had one other thing here. So if any uh, parents out there have an iPad or whatever that they let their kids use for like learning apps and things like that, right? Babysitting them. Yeah. Babysitting them while I'm looking up for a fucking hockey gear. Um, so I was this called lingo kids or something that we use. So the other day I'm making lunch breakfast for some of us. And I just keep hearing this. Now tell me what you guys hear. <laughs> now I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, Ellie, what is that? She's like, what do you mean? I'm like, of course I I'm not telling her that what it is. Flashlight. Like, flashlight. I'm hitting the flashlight button. I'm like, okay, hold on, keep hitting it. Flashlight, 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 flashlight. Oh my god. Did she hit the fuck, 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 fuck? <laughs> I mean, the sock. Whose flashlight is it? <laughs> Whose is it? How big is it? it? Holy shit. Yeah. That's funny. Flashlight. Wow. Yeah. Yep. R2 heard it. Hellstorm. Flashlight, flashlight. Yep. <laughs> and then for some reason, a link to them popped up on the iPad in the. Uh, you know, so I had to buy one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <so. laughs> uh. oh <my> God. <laughs> what, what am I missing? Oh, nothing. Oh. Nothing. Okay. That. Oh, God. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I thought I saw a spider on that uh, iPad. What kind? Black Widow. Oh. You might want to watch that. It's liable to strike. It's like a spider. <laughs> it's a spider. It's, it's a, a spider, spider. mate. Hey, don't we have a, a false flag segment? <laughs> no. Jay got it immediately. Yeah. Kurt okay. sent it to me. Hey, can you translate this for me? I'm like, yeah. Fucking one lesson. But he sent it with no other, nothing else. Really? Yeah. There was yeah, no context gonna, at all? No. <laughs> we're going to start a new segment. What What is what is uh, False Flag saying? And we'll let the right, chat well, guess. I got one for you if you want to go there. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get crazy. Let me uh, connect here to the Chodecaster. Give me a little spritz. A little a spritz. spritzy poo. Spet. Spritz it. Spritzer. All right. Let me, uh, I think Cameron sent me something earlier too. <laughs> I'll check that lighter. <laughs> oh, all right, let's see how, if this comes through. Let me know if you hear this. No. Really? I can't hear shit. It actually sounded terrible, and I'm offended. That's what he sent me. 
with all the with all the scratching and everything. Static. Some serious audio issues. Anyway, I was just going to say, Jordan. Was <laughs> I'm in some serious audio issues. Yeah. <laughs> so it's fucking popping and cracking. I'm like, what the frig? Serious audio issues. Yep. Oh, I should um, I should show you guys this. Don't text me, Kurt. <laughs> Just when you thought you've seen it all. Huh? Eric Peterson is selling this. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, hold on. Do you guys know who Eric Peterson is? No. Peterson. <laughs> hey, Mr. Peterson. Here's a guitar player from Testament. Okay. Okay. Testament, big thrash metal band, right? You know. So he's selling one of his guitars. Guitar. Now, I- Although I'm a Testament fan, why is it taking so long to send a fucking photo? Jesus um, Christ of Latter-day yeah. Saints. All right, let's go through. All right. So although I'm a Testament fan, I don't know what Check or when he used this guitar on, if it's on any albums, if it's just one of his personal guitars. Did it come through? But, Ooh. BSB. That's nice. That's it real nice. Like oh, it is. It is nice. I mean, I'm not a fan of the one pickup, but you know. Way but it's what the EM, EMG. Yeah, um, I guess that's an M1. M1 custom or whatever. Um, I love those inlays. I've always liked that on the ESP. I like it. I like but, it. Yeah, but <laughs> Caleb. Does that guitar look like it's played at all? It no. looks like brand new, right? Because on a matte yeah. finish guitar, you know if you're playing that thing at all, there's going to be, be some you know, grace. There'll be some yeah. gracey signs on it. it. Looks like that thing's straight out of the box, mate. Yeah, <laughs> fresh out of the case. Fresh out of the carton, mate. Um, <laughs> so he's selling this guitar. All right, send it to Patty. If anybody has, he's selling this for fucking twelve thousand dollars. Tuesday? Why? I don't. I don't know. I don't know the backstory of it. But False Flag sent me this photo and said Eric Peterson is selling this guitar. X story. Twelve thousand dollars. Jesus. This could be yours for twelve thousand dollars, mate. No one's buying that. No one's buying that at all. <laughs> Except, yeah. uh, well, maybe somebody will. Except Kurt, uh, Keith Campbell. <laughs> I just got a weird text from my mom. Maybe. She just texted me and said, Where are you? Uh oh. What? I'm home. <laughs> the hell's going on here? Take a break. That's not a good no, uh, no, that's, that's a scary a text from your mom. Call her, just jump off the screen. Is, oh, she said, is that your room? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tell oh, you, you just thought she's like, where are you? Got to find. <laughs> There's Hold a bunny in here. Hold on, There's Mom. A... Let, me, let me change it up for you. Yeah, he's, he's in Santa Cruz, Mom. It's a voice of reasoning right here. You there you go, idiot. Mom. Now I'm a uh, great right, right, right north. Idiot. Idiot. <laughs> You idiot. <laughs> idiot. Genie for the win. You, you call my mom an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. Family Speaking drama. of uh, satin finish guitars, mm-hmm. did you guys see uh, Nuno's post recently? No. What are we talking no, about? I'm not on social media, so I don't see it. Yeah, you are. You're all over the fucking under the bus uh, Instagram, you fart head. Am I? Yeah, you check it out all the time. We, we see what you do on there. <laughs> we got you. Hold on. <laughs> we got you. What post? It's not, it's not that serious, Brian. This one. Jay, you see it? Oh. No, I'm just seeing it now. It looks like a fake guitar. Well, That's... it's a lighting. I... Wait, Adam posted that. Yeah, F.U. Tone. Sorry. 
pay tribute to the king. Hashtag FU Tone. Hashtag new no vet. I'm going to extreme it. Ha- at CHS Custom Guitars? What? Fire. Dude, he, um... What? Craig, Craig made a guitar for Charlie Benanti from Anthrax. Yeah, I got that. We'll show that too, Jay. Oh, okay, sorry. My bad. Didn't mean no, to blow, right. blow the load for you. So... I... what I See, I, he said... Look at this guy's when, hair. <laughs> it's hovering. <laughs> um... <laughs> It's like a cloud. Bird's nest. It's, it's like a cloud going by. Um, it's in the cloud. <laughs> look, well, all right. So I guess Nuno threw everybody off by saying some guy down in Texas painted that guitar for him. But I think it, it appears that Craig, our buddy Craig from CHS Customs, painted Nuno's Bumblebee. And there you have it, folks. What do you think, Jay? It's pretty it's cool, cool as shit. You know what? Also, is that's that's a chalk finish bumblebee. Chalk. And and I personally, not to bring this back to me, because that's very unlike something I would do. But <laughs> the first the first <laughs> chalk finish bumblebee. I just happen to be holding one right now. Is right here, folks. From CHS Custom Guitars with FU Tone. I'd like uh, to request isolation. Hardware. This is a chalk bumblebee. The first. The first. See that finish? It's called a sheen. As a so how would you it. how would you describe Fine. the difference between like a regular matte finish guitar or a chalk finish guitar? Well, I think they're similar. It's just it's Craig's version of the matte he calls chalk for mm-hmm. some reason and i mean it, it definitely has a different sheen to it that's the word it has he like likes a foggy finish yeah Earthy. there's no shine to it no shine yeah but, but the charlie the sheen. Kinda, it, it gives a little yeah winning it gives a little uh you know d- depending on the angle of the light it gives a cool effect but yeah i actually i striped this guitar and then i sent it just the body to craig back in 2019 and he did the chalk finish because i told him i wanted i didn't want lacquer but i wanted the because he'd done some other things in chalk but never a striped guitar in chalk cool. and uh there you have it folks and now nuno hashtag you you goat buddy? hashtag you you goat buddy? nuno has a, a bumblebee uh in chalk finish painted by I guess. Craig. Unofficially. Craig. Stopco from CHS Cousin. Congratulations, Craig. That's a huge, uh, huge um, accomplishment, I think, because, I mean, who's, who's, who has a higher profile right now other than Nuno Betancourt as far as rock he's guitar been, players? Go? He's been Did out he? there. He's been out there quite a bit. He's been, lately. He's been really out there pushing. And, uh, mm-hmm. Who's got it better than us? Nobody. Now he's got the, now he's got the bumblebee. So, good on you, Craig. Good on you, Adam, for uh, making that all happen. And uh, it's all about the king, right? There Long you go. The king. Pretty cool. And Jay, how did he fix his hair? What? How did this guy fix his hair on this photo? Hold on. Let's fix, let's fix the. Uh... <clears throat> it's in the cloud. They had to stage. Oh, I did. I did too. At the same time, you go ahead. It's fixed. Oh no, it's just front, front view. Okay. Even Nuno's asking, like, what happened to his hair? Brian, what do you think of that headstock? Fucking sucks. I hate that headstock. <laughs> really? It could be, it could be an amazing guitar. The the neck could be amazing. I just I don't like how it's upside down. I don't like it. Uh, no I do. Gusta. Well, I'm glad you like it, Kurt. I don't, I don't have a problem with the Washburn headstock. I think it's pretty cool. It's interesting that he had uh, the black stock painted. What the <laughs> fuck is that dude doing? Who is that? We're probably making fun of some some hot shot. He's, he's the guy, the guy that does rig rundowns for yeah. Premier Guitar. Oh, I guess there I goes my there goes my rig rundown. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you, you always knew who he was. Yeah. 
All right, let me grab that other one, Jay. While we're still on the subject. Yeah, what else is Craig doing? Busy. Craig's busy. Craig. Hello, Jennifer Andrews. There's a Jennifer here? Huh. Yep. Yeah, we just showed a lot of Jennifers on the uh on the show a few minutes ago. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, been nothing. That's been got nothing. sparkles in it. Sparkle stripes. Little sparkle. Sparkles. And it's, it's a unique stripe stripe pattern too. And he's got a kill yeah. switch up in that bitch. Mm -hmm. Kill switch bitch. Engaged. Engaged. Very cool. Look at that one. Who's that, Brian? It's Zach's biceps. <laughs> Zach's like, hey, can I fucking hold it? Uh, it. Zach domesticated right there. I love Zach. Yeah. I like the, I like the Gibson and the Kramer font. That's pretty cool. And his business card there in the fretboard. Oh, you bet. I thought it was just one mega, like large <laughs> first fret. fret. <laughs> yes. Straight to the third position. Screw it. <laughs> so I think Craig met him for the first time here because you can see he's got it in his hand. And it's not here. Oh. EVH strap. It's cool as shit. He says it's great too. Look at this. Yeah. Nice. Hey Kirk, can you uh can you do something about this from Jennifer? Jennifer. <laughs> So sorry. You know, that had nothing to do with the name of the channel. What? It had no. everything to do with the name. It of the was channel. a long time ago. Time has passed. Have you ever heard the term Who's I got thrown doing? under the bus? Or they're gonna throw me under the bus, or he threw her under the bus, or whatever. I mean you usually heard a lot of a lot in sports, sports they, talk like that. He threw, threw his threw coach them. under the bus by saying something like that. No, no. Gonna... Cliff Burton went out of the window and got thrown. <laughs> yeah, definitely wasn't the the inspiration for the show. No. Now in we're going to. In case you were wondering. Look at the pics. Everybody, yeah. go grab a sandwich. <laughs> grab some gasoline. Yeah. Jen, we'll be back in uh, Vegas on oh, the 4th of May. May the fourth be with you, Nerd Halo. May the fourth be with it's you. It's going to be a Star Wars theme night at the Virgin. Huh. Shack at, the, at the not a Virgin anymore after Nerd not Halo. Virgin, yeah. yeah. Here, I got to send you that. I made a cool poster. So. Ooh. Sorry for your loss, Jennifer. Thoughts and prayers. I told you, get my guys or uh, my theory about the whole Cliff Burton death, right? No, tell us, please. I thought I did. <clears throat> So, you know how Dave Mustaine was into black magic and shit like that back in the day? He's into five magics. Yes. Well, mm -hmm. my theory is that Dave Mustaine put a hex or a curse on Kirk Hammett because he took his job. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Well, if anybody knows the story of that night in, what, Stockholm, Sweden? Yeah. Was it yeah. September 26th, something like that? Yes. The story goes they had a shitty a shitty bus, and um, Kirk's bunk, I guess, out of the band bunks, was the best one. I don't know what it was about it, but... It, well, wasn't, over, it wasn't over the wheel well, so it was quiet when... It was, okay. It was there you quiet. Go. They were driving. You could sleep better on it. I, okay. I, I couldn't have it over the wheel well because I, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway... Wah -wah. I guess they all argue on who wants to, who wants his bunk. So they drew straws or drew cards. I think it was. Sure, I'm thinking short of straw, but that's not what that song's about. And Cliff went, "I want your bunk," and he got Kirk's bunk. Ooh. So my thing is like, hey man, you know, I wonder if uh, if there was some black wow. magic involved and uh, the wrong Ooh. person went out of that fucking window. But you know. Anyway, all right, what are we seeing here? Uh, this is our brand new show we just announced. We're going back to the uh, Virgin. Uh, How can you go back to a Virgin? I don't, <laughs> You're only there once. You only get it. We only get it once. All right. Well, it was it was anal. Um, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Did yeah. I say that out loud? Uh, I whispered it. Doesn't uh, count. I'm, pull, I'm, I'm pulling it up. Yeah. Pull it, pull it up. Pull it up. 
Summer Nights. Summer Nights. Summer Nights. Summer Nights. Summer Nights. Yeah. Summer Nights. Summer Nights was Amy. Um, <laughs> oh, look at this. Yes. Nice, I dude. Made, I made that today. Is that Darth Invade Me? We'll enter the Virgin Coliseum. With Jeff needs to be uh, Chewbacca. <laughs> Wait, you made that? Cool? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that cool? Caleb, you made that? Yeah. How long did that take you? Why the fuck are me and Kurt the only ones doing the <laughs> thumbnails for the show and you can pull off some shit like this? You're doing great. Come on. You're nope. doing fantastic. No covers, just covers. I love it. <laughs> that yeah. is good. That is good. Yeah, yeah. Wait, you know, I'm a little disappointed, Caleb. Shut them all down. I'm a, yes, right. that's where I'm going. I'm a little disappointed. Oh, He's yeah. There. There were, where, we where's where's the fucking, where's C13PO here? Where's the Doniker? Oh, I didn't do it. That's uh, right. C13PO. <laughs> there's time. There's still his time. <laughs> Shut them all down. <laughs> and there's the original R2. Oh, dear. <laughs> you oh, did a great job with this, Caleb. Thanks. Yeah, that's awesome. And what a swell yeah. guy you are. You actually put your bass player in front of you. Wow. I know, right? That's pretty good. Caleb, fair. you should have. I know it's, you know, we're just busting balls here, but you should have put the Han Solo pants on yourself with the stripe down the side since you're wearing the vest. I know. I I, I thought there's, there's time. Yeah. I, I'm there's probably going to wear that costume. So, yeah, there you go. So, that's a fully operational Death Star from the, uh, the New Hope. Like, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there we go. We'll be back. The uh, planet Hoth there. And uh, technically, uh, folks, technically, we have a residency in Las Vegas. So thank wow. you very much. Wow. Where's the applause? <laughs> very exciting. Where is Edwin, it? what's happening? What's that? I said, Edwin, what's happening? He said he oh. was jamming to elevated jam tracks. See, seen you was on, jumped in. Hey, anybody out there, elevated jam tracks, they are some great um, jam tracks, backing tracks to, to jam to or whatever. Mm. Some of the best that I've ever used, by the way. The Shag Room. Yeah. Yeah, 21 plus, Ryan. That That means, you know. Your girlfriend can't go. Too old. Too old. Right? <laughs> no, that means you have to play Summer Nats 21 or yeah, more 21 times. Time. Over 21 times we'll be playing. Times. Summer Nats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, Billy likes it. Billy likes elevated jam tracks. You got to fly Ryan out to play Summer Nights. The yes. show. Summer Nats. I'd like to invite my friend Ryan to the stage. Uh, he's going to play. So he nice. shows up and the uh, airline's lost his Steinberger. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to play chords like this. <laughs> I'd like to bring uh, my friend Ryan up here to play uh, some summer nights for everybody. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Did you guys see the news? Why? You guys probably don't give a shit. Which one? Um the music news? There's some amazing shows coming out. No, it is actually music news. Mm, what um, does that mean? Well, hold on. I gotta find it first. I probably should have prepared. <laughs> and my internet's not working. Hold on. Oh no going on here oh, here we go um that was almost perfect timing what do you got jay i'm trying to fucking there we go so you guys know that I'm I'm a fan of Skid Row. Oh yeah, and I was pumped. I you know I think I'm with everybody when 
when Sebastian Bach obviously got booted or left, whatever the hell you want to believe. I think definitely he booted. Out. Yeah, he was definitely booted. Yeah. Definitely booted. Um, definitely not coming back. They, no, yeah, they never. never. They never got, in my opinion, they never got another guy to, you know, not everybody is uh, is Sebastian Bach. There's only a few front men like that. And obviously, the vocal chops on those first two records, very fucking difficult. Probably a small percentage of singers can do that shit. So when they got Eric Gronwall, who was the singer for Heat from Sweden. I thought it was Grundle. Eric Grundle. <laughs> um, I would, me, and, me, and, me and Jeannie were pumped about this. Like we saw some videos of him singing the first like Skid Row show that he did. And personally, I was like, this is going to bring them a little, you know, not back fully with Sebastian, but it's going to get them a lot more, you know, attention again, because this guy's a fucking great singer. Yes. Well, he's yes, had some um, health issues. Oh, no. And I guess they've uh, agreed to part ways, which for me is kind of a bummer. Because Jeannie and I saw them, what, a year ago, year and a half ago, something like that? And he was fucking great. Like, he was singing those songs that probably, you know, better than they were done since the studio. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of a bummer, you know? He's got leukemia. Yeah. So he had leukemia, beat it, and then now oh, I guess he's have a, has some, a litany of other issues. He can't stay healthy. Damn, it's too bad. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks, man. It's yeah. like when Journey got that singer from wherever. Timing. Yeah, something like that. It kind of brought them back, mm -hmm. you know, because he had a good voice. Good voice. He sounded virtually identical. He yeah, did. You know? It was yeah. crazy. Just close your eyes. Yeah. Like, holy shit. I mean, bands, um, you know, usually kick people out like that because, like, they bang somebody's girl in the in the band. It, it seems like Sebastian might have banged all their girls at once. The hatred is that gnarly in that an absolute like blow bang when he would walk into the room. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's twice now. Brian's used blow bang tonight. Blow yes, bang. you can try. One, I'm trying to get one more in before eleven. So, wow, I'm, you know what my my search history is going to have in it soon what didn't you go see skid row last year yeah then yeah, I just, he, he just, just said, said it oh, i thought you said we wanted to go see it but you actually went and saw him yeah he said genie and i went to go see skid row I think Kurt, the other day. I you said wanted to go Mr. Live Solo brings up this. Did anyone see the, the footage of John Mel Mellencamp uh, walking off stage? Anyone see that? No. Huh? What is it? Yeah. John Mellencamp walked off stage? Pull it yeah, up. Yeah. Somebody, somebody said, shut, shut the fuck up and play music. And... <laughs> I love that. John, oh, first thing, John Mellencamp walks off stage. Can we find that? Let's play that. And everyone can form their own opinion. I'm going to tell you mine right away. Uh, Do it. We all know John Mellencamp's a dick and uh, doesn't like to be told what to do by anyone. Cougar. Is John Mellencamp a dick or is it John Cougar is Mellencamp a dick? Well, I think all of it. Um, he the a while. He, I mean, he told that story to Sammy where he would he would just get loaded and yeah. fight, find, try to find the biggest guy in the bar and and f try to fight him like mm -hmm. that was his fun. And he'd and always get his ass, ass kicked and he'd yes. always get his ass kicked. Isn't John Cougar like five, three, like a buck? Yes. 55? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, right here, though, let's see if this is it. Sucking on chili dog. Where's Paul when you need him? Yeah. To suck on some chili dogs. <laughs> By the way, he didn't change his name to Cougar. The, the record company did. They didn't, for some reason, they thought Mellencamp wasn't going to sell. And uh, they gave him that name. So he, when he got big enough, he changed it back. So hmm. there you go. Taylor315 says Mellencamp is a douche. Yeah, well. <laughs> Dude, if I sold as many records as him and sold out as many arenas as him, I'd probably be a fucking douche too. Isn't he from Indiana? Cougar. Yes. Can anybody hear this? No cougars. He's from a small Indiana. town, uh, by the way. 
I think he's from a small town. <laughs> we can't hear it, Jay. God damn it, son of a bitch. Yeah. Jay, fix it. Fuck, you give me so much shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's this? Who's no, that I, fucking I, I, let, me, let me try again. Let me try I never want to see that face again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. On our show. That was frightening. Also share audio. Okay. That guy couldn't find a better angle. Let's see if it works now. Yes. Okay. All right. Let me pump it up here. Pump up the jam. He's chewing the shit out of that gum, isn't he? Now, here's the thing, man. You don't know me. You don't fucking know me. Hey, Joe, I'm just going to miss him after the show. <laughs> anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted, um, Ooh. guys, I can stop this show right now and just go home. Go fuck yourself. Tell me I'm going to do this. Since it's been so wonderful, I'm going to cut about 10 songs out of the show. Here we go. Go fuck yourself. Wow. All right, there you have it. Oh, There's uh oh, the John wow. Cougar thing. This is what this, this is, is, this is what we're getting striked, yeah. we're getting striked by a guy who 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 sh who shouldn't look like that. This is what's happening. <laughs> what were we saying, Kurt? What's so that owner jams show in 15 years? Man, if I start losing my hair and look like a dad fucking phenom, I would <laughs> <laughs> have to do a lot of something different. Man. So contractually, what happens when you take off partway through a show like that? I mean, oh, everyone gets to beat the shit out of the guy who said who pissed him off. That's what they do. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. But that's unfortunate. It is. That's unfortunate. And you know how many people showed up to wait for that song? Yeah, I don't I don't know what I don't know which side I take in that because anyone who yells shut up and play music, you know, they should be gone. Yeah. I think that's, they're there to see the artist. You don't talk to the artist like that. It's not their show. Yeah. You don't talk to the artist like that. Yeah. So, but what about all the other people that were, are there to see you and to give a shit? Now you're punishing them. You just you just tell, hey, can can you have the? I want that guy gone, and then everyone you get everyone on your side, right? And then everyone goes, yeah, get out of here, get out of here, and they yeah. and they escort him out, and then you continue on with the show. Mm -hmm. I'll fuck you your don't... girlfriend, pal. Yeah, <laughs> you need that too. <laughs> yep. Big yeah. big bucks. Oop, we didn't get big money. bucks, mate. Bend over and I'll show you. <laughs> it, it, it looked like he had like some sort of breakdown, like because he really probably just wanted to kick the living shit out of that person himself and realized he couldn't and then <laughs> just didn't know what to do. It almost looked like you know, he played the beginning of that song and quit right at the beginning just to piss everyone off. Oh, he knew he was going to quit because yeah. he played it all half-assed and stuff. Yeah. Like he, it wasn't, there was well, no heart. I think he, it was one of those things like he just kept getting madder and madder yeah. and he started, he's like, fuck this. I'm about to... <laughs> I bet you it's not the first time he's done that too. That's probably his go-to move when he's like, "Oh, I'm done. Here you go, two bars of Jack and Diane, and I am gone." And they and the band knows, like, "Oh, he's doing it that way. We're done." <laughs> and start <laughs> unplugging. <laughs> yeah, before, before he even says, "I'm done," the band fucking starts yeah, breaking yeah. down. The way he says, "Little Diddy," and you're like, "Oh, it's over." 
the crew yeah, starts coming out from behind yeah. the stage to fucking <laughs> yeah. tape off the off the stage, pulling cables off. <laughs> Start rolling the, the drum riser off. <laughs> I have a, I have a question for you guys since uh, people are talking about in the chat. Shit. And he was talking about um <laughs> let's say like um, politics. What's your thoughts on musicians regardless of the political affiliation what do you think about them pontificating to spewing political diatribe what's your thoughts i'll start with you jay <laughs> i'll start with me that's great i'll start with okay boss um, <laughs> i don't i don't i don't like it personally unless unless a band is very open and vocal put like politically you know whether it be through social media through the music they play um then it then you know you get what you pay for you know that you're gonna walk into that when you go see them live and for the most part you know if i know that about a band regardless of how i believe or what i what i think or believe personally i don't want to hear it but you know if you're a political band then that's your thing but yeah i, I would i just want to hear fucking music because i feel that when you get up there and you talk about that shit you're splitting your fucking audience 50 50 50 50 and half the people there probably think one way, half the people think the other way. And I just think, you know, it kind of fuels the fire of dividing people. And I think music is there, live music is there to bring all your fans together for one thing. And, you know, but again, if you're our political band, then that's your thing. Then do whatever the fuck you want to do. Yeah. Kurt, what about you? There's one microphone. So... Usually there's one person spewing out their political opinion. So I don't think that's fair. So you're stuck. Oh, listening. Hand out fucking 10,000 mics. No. The, does anyone watch Roger Waters live show? He does political shit throughout the whole thing. And it's bullshit <laughs> because he's the only one with the mic. So whatever he thinks is the only thing that's said. So I don't agree with it. Um, I, I'd leave. I'm there to see music. Just like Jay said, you don't need to push something down my throat. Just because you have a microphone in front of oh, you. Wow. Okay. Anybody else want to go, or are we going to keep this uh, short and sweet here? Let's Caleb? go, Caleb. I'll we have go. another person on the panel. Yeah, I'll go. Um, I, I think everyone knows what they're getting into when they buy a ticket to something. So, if you're going to see a show and but you know that artist, you know, you know what might happen you might hear it guess what it's their microphone it's their night yep you, you know you're you're an audience member you, you can scream you can yell you can be a part of the show like that dude but look what it got him you know so uh i don't know like it's you, you know what you're getting everyone who who goes who pays money to see an artist you usually know what they're getting into before especially nowadays when you pay for it because it's freaking ridiculous like i could have gone to see bruce next week bro but it was like 380 a ticket Jesus. and i've never seen him but i want to like once yeah. before you know before i die or he dies. Die. yeah which you know is like that's what's scary all of our heroes like in the next five to ten years they're all going to be gone like dead not just like retired but dead it's crazy so yeah i it's 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 their show it's their mic and if you don't like it you shouldn't be there in the first place and uh you know it's it is what it is i you know i'm if, if i'm if i'm going to see ted nugent then i know, you know what i'm i know i know what i'm gonna hear yeah right i know no, what i'm gonna hear actually gonna say the same fucking thing it's right like, i know what i'm gonna hear i know what i'm gonna hear and i'm gonna hear it a lot and i'm gonna you know and I'm just talking about shitty music, but um, <laughs> the I'm just kidding. Cat scratch uh, fever. Yeah, yeah. Bam, bam, bang, dang, bam, sweet bam. tang. But uh, stranglehold. Yeah, stranglehold is shit. You know, Damn. look, it, it is what it is, and you're 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 getting what you. It's all buyer beware. It's all and and if you're the artist, know your audience. You don't want to do that if you really care. So it's both ways. I mean, I yeah. You, you 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 want everyone to it shouldn't be about politics in my opinion ever unless your music is politics yes. right yep right 
I'm with you, dude. So, you know, Rage Against the Machine, I I got news for you, folks. You're going to hear some shit you're not going to like if you're, uh, you know, on whatever side. So, and you're going to hear a lot. And Mm -hmm. that's it. Just like you you can either either separate yourself and say, you know what, whatever, I still enjoy the music. Right. And, And, you know, and, and there used to be a time where, it was still okay because it, it's, it was America, right? And America. not everyone's going to have the same opinion. Not everyone's going to have the same. But that's the beauty of it, right? If everybody you know? agreed and everybody and we, believed. And we used to, we kind of used to go, all right, hey, he feels that way. But man, I love that song. And it's not going to let me get in the way of it. But now we're like, fucking he's that. He doesn't like, he's that person. And, yep. you know, but I love that song. Oh, but he 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 likes that politic. Oh, you know, who gives a shit? Yep. Bees. Close your eyes, rock and roll. I say, hey, fell for him, motherfucker, dick pussy snot and shit. Good night. Good night. Suck my dick. Bye bye. <laughs> what about you, bees? Um, <laughs> since <laughs> since I own businesses, um, since, oh, here, since here we own, go. Since I own businesses. No, I, I I don't want to piss off any of my clients or. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just wouldn't want to. So there's times clients will come and be like, man, I fucking hate Trump. I'm like, yeah, I hear you. And then another client is like, these fucking leftists. I'm like, yeah, I know. I just, I don't really get into it. I let them say what they need to say and then move on. It's who cares what I think. Um, so, whoa, 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 whoa. So what? Uh, oh boy, here we go. Whoa, dun, whoa, dun, dude. Dun, 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 dun. You, you want to, you want to tell me who, who has sold more records between those two artists? I'll, I'll let you answer that. You can you can look it up before you call someone a small fish. Small fish compared to Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent ever have a number one hit? Give me a break, dude. Did he? (laughs) (laughs) Oh shit! Give me a break. Yeah. So in essence, um, I I don't really say anything. I don't. I just. I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to piss off people. Like I wouldn't want to lose clients if I was a musician or fans. Just, mm-hmm. I think you just keep it to yourself. You know, um, people are. Go ahead, I'm sorry. I, I think people just want to get away from shit, right? So, like me, if I want to go see Gojira or Mastodon, and they start spewing political shit, I'd be like, "What are you doing? Like, don't you know? Regardless if I agreed with them or not, you know what I'm saying? So." I just think there's a time and place for it. Unless you're going to see like a Rage Against the Machine. And I don't even know what they're talking about anymore because they've like become <laughs> what they were rallying against. So, well, careful, careful. Don't your opinion will come out. You yeah. don't want to piss off your, your, your phone. <laughs> <laughs> so. client. Caleb is texting John Cougar. <laughs> no, I don't have this number. I only have John Mellencamp. <laughs> 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 oh, oh shit oh <laughs> fucking a man that was good, good. dude too good people, people are too sensitive agreed sensitive and it's good here plug on both sides of yes. course yeah. yes you're right right <sighs> all right mike is himself is sick of this shit so let's nerd out about guitar specs, neck straightness, action, string choice, pickups, front front wire. Whoa, wow. Um, did you guys see Wolfgang today? No, I didn't see him. him. I didn't see him around now. I sent you the clip. I didn't watch it. Caleb, you want to tee this up? Tee it up, big boy. <laughs> Laces out, Finkel. <laughs> oh, look, little footballs. There it is. I've seen, that, I've seen that guitar before. And that's that ain't no replica. So he did a live stream with who, Caleb? Chris Shiflet from the Shiflet. Who fight us? And it was it was a live stream, but then he he did uh he did some clips on the replay, right? I haven't seen the live stream. I think it comes out tomorrow, the full okay. amount. And then there he put some clips out to tease. There you go. It. So he started asking Wolfgang about 
the Frankenstein that he used on the last album. And Wolfgang said, oh, I just happened to have it right here. So he reached behind the couch and pulled it out and started showing some shit on it, talking about it. Um, so here it is, the one and only, the real deal. That's uh, it. Has anybody taken any screenshots of this and compared them to the one that was at the Met to see if it really was there or if the replica was well, there? One thing I've, I noticed, I've heard rumors. I've heard rumors. One thing I noticed is this bar. That's the old school bar with the nut and plastic washer, which mm -hmm. was on the one at the Met. Okay. Can I get a stripe analysis, Caleb? How does that look? Well, if that's the original, then I mean, you know. Yeah, I, I don't see anything off, Brian. <laughs> I don't okay. see anything wrong. I think it looks. I don't see anything <laughs> wrong with it. Good. Just making sure. Just making sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But one funny thing on this video is Chris called it the Franken Strat. And Wolfgang corrected him and said, Well, my dad really didn't call it anything, but everyone else called it the Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. So then after the video, I start looking through the comments and it's just fucking bullshit. People, oh, people going at each other. Yeah. So this one dude, I screenshotted it here. Yeah, one Sorry, guy's the, the one guy's first said that Ted Nugent sold more records than uh, than John Mellencamp. But go ahead. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. So this guy says, "Sorry, kid, you're wrong. It was always and shall be the Frankenstrat." What? Oh my god! Yeah, like what a, these what fucking people—they think they know everything. Faceless. So, you see, I I commented to him, "What do you know, you fucking idiot?" So I'm yeah, talking. Don't care. Talking yeah, yeah that, 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 that'll fucking show him. Well, there's another response from him after this, after I took the screenshot. But Is this on a book face or is this on YouTube? Uh, YouTube. So Caleb's like, it's the Frankenstein. And he was like, Pat Bertinelli took a picture of it and it says it right on the case. Right there. Boom. Damn. Yeah, how do you I fucking argue with that? I think Mike it's dropped. settled. Yeah. I'd say so. Wait, the stripes were off on that. Wait. <laughs> Jay, did you see uh, the comment from Ryan? Wolfgang got that guitar from JB. <laughs> Jeff Beck? Is that Look a Floyd that. Rose? Johnny Brasco? Yeah. Johnny Brasco? Yeah. Floyd Rose. Like it, by the way, that's, that. that's, that's the newest thing on the guitar, by the way. That's not the original. Yeah. There were several, but four or five. Several. I think he mentions that in the, in the interview that that the, the newest mod to the guitar was probably the bridge. So yeah. And yes, yeah. the Bumblebee, Billy De Silva says it, which uh, guitar was buried with dime bag. The B. Anyway, kind of cool to see that thing again. But yes, uh, Wolfgang said it's locked up. He said if there was if it was the end of the world, that thing would be protected. Really? Yeah. But the uh, the dude interviewing him didn't ask about the fifty one fifty. It was just clips, so we don't know. What the fuck, so, dude? Why doesn't anybody ask him about that goddamn guitar? I, I would say half the people don't know the difference between that guitar and no, the they don't. In fact, they call they call fifty one fifty or red, white, and black stripe guitars from the later era stripers. They call them Frankenstrap stripers. stripers or stripers. Yeah. Was a uh, Wolfgang out prior to him, uh, Wolfgang being born? What was the Wolfgang the guitar? Was that out prior to Wolfgang being born? No, no. He was born in ninety one, and the Wolfgang came out in ninety five, ninety six. Gotcha. Yep. Brian, you're learning. Pretty soon he's going to fucking B's company is going to be a Van Halen show. That's right. <laughs> We're not going to have to talk about Van Halen on here anymore. That's right. He'll have all the viewers. Did I see you're having a Monique, show on? Were you just watching? Were you watching what we just talked about, Monique? She may, yeah. not, she may not know. I know. I'm just fucking with her. Yeah, that, that was actually the OG Frankie that he had that he was holding yes. that. Uh, that he'll never sell. One thing I thought was pretty funny is he's like, oh, it still has the original strings on it. I don't know. No, if I think he said from 2015. Oh, okay. Like they haven't been changed in 10 years or something. 
Yeah. But he t- I think he talks about the story about uh, using it and the, and the original amp on his uh, Take a Bow song. Or... Yeah. And the Variac. Yeah. Very cool. How's that, Mike? Is that enough? You want us to talk about the neck pocket? <laughs> cool. Um, so, Kurt, you were asking about Sunday? Yeah. Yeah, so um, AJ and I were talking. We have, we're have we looking to have a guest come on. So, um, Looking? Yes. So it's not official. No. He um, had, I'm, he, had an he idea, said, like, hey, we should have him on. And he said yes. So, um. <laughs> hey. and there he wow. is. That's our special guest for Sunday. Jesus, this, this is what we do to fucking with these thumbnails. Like we find photos of each other and fucking cut out the head. <laughs> oh my god, I fucking look old. Nice. It's like the, right, like thirty five year old me is going really, <laughs> really really dude just like 35 year old you look back at pictures of you when you were a teenager and was like really exactly but i'm looking at that because i think i'm still 35 and i'm looking at that and i'm going really wow all right so when's the next bees company so we were looking to do a friday just because there's uh i think caleb mentioned that there's a big empty time slot on fridays so it's a good right. day to do a show but um what did he say ripe, ripe for the taking is that what it was ripe for the taking yeah. yes so um aj and i were talking but he can't do it on friday oh it's it's uh bueno viernes good friday so we're looking to do it on easter sunday so um and we have the uh a gentleman from a band called cancer christ which oh, is one wait, of bees, bees company is risen it is Wow. They're doing a show on Easter on Cancer with, Christ. with somebody from Cancer Christ. That's fucking perfect. I like wow. That. You wow. guys going to sell some Bibles or what? <laughs> <laughs> Get something else with them. And then um, also we're going to talk, we're, since we're giving um, a guitar away on our Under the Bus two-year anniversary, right? Anniversary. So on Bees Company, we're also be, uh, going to be giving away a guitar, so you guys have to tune in. It's going to be pretty cool. So They're giving away the 918V. <laughs> oh fuck yeah <laughs> that's a really cool striper stripers so yes we are going to be giving away two guitars on this channel in the coming months c-u-m-m-i-n-g coming months yes mm-hmm. big time oh uh, what time is it going to be bees i'll be later don't know it's going to be 5 30 eastern no. <laughs> <laughs> 5 30 no it'd be um look we're looking to do it at 9 p.m so this all just came together tonight. So it'll be during sorry his show. So sorry. So sorry. Hey, uh, do we have one Patty Dill in the chat? We do. Um, I think Beesman got a package package. I did, and we're gonna unfurl it on next week's show. Because you I- fucking left it at the office, didn't you? Um yeah, so uh, Kurt and I are going to coordinate wardrobe for next week. It's going to be amazing. So we're going to uh, we're going to do it together. That's if I remember mine. I got you. Don't you worry, Patty. You got to do Beesman a favor. If it's something for the show, or if you send him something, you got to put on the package, as Gene Oakland would say, the package. Either UTB or I don't think Beesman. it matters. I don't think it matters. Jam, something like that. So he'll save open it. Open on air. Open on air. Yes. There you go. One of his assistants will give it to him and say, you need to open this up on this next conference call. It says it right here on the package. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we'll look forward to uh, opening it up next week, Patty. So thank you. It's going to be a treat. Man. Well, if you send Brian something, expect to see it within a year of when he receives it. Yeah. Love dogs. Struggling right now, but yeah. it's all right. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Sorry that you're struggling. Um, 
<laughs> two weeks to bring Brendan's butt cheeks uh, shovel guitar home. Did you find okay. a slide for it yet? Yeah. Or just throw it out with the box? No, I have it. <laughs> throw it out. It was in my office as well. So. Was it like a custom slide? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the best opening scenes in a comedy movie ever this one's you know? going downtown, downtown. <laughs> which one <clears throat> ace ventura all oh, right got a package people <laughs> oh patty he already did see that's the thing that's what we're saying. You got to write on there, open on air or UTB or don't fucking open until 9 p.m. on Friday. Friday. What is this? Wednesday? I meant. <laughs> don't open till 5 p.m. on Sunday, Easter Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. In other news, corn is going to be going on tour. Luckily, instead of having that one off show for the 30th anniversary, they're going on tour. With them. Yes. It's too good. Good. Still, you started, Kurt. <laughs> no, we did this last week or two weeks He's ago. Got an itchy trigger finger. <laughs> it's it's got to be done like that every time. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's good. <laughs> so yeah corn going on tour with gojira is going to be awesome and they're going to be playing in massachusetts in september so i will i'll be going how much your tickets i have no idea i think it um tickets go on sale on friday i don't think they're coming anywhere near me i looked at the promo. So the, the itinerary so in yeah. august will be the lamb of god mastodon show and then in september will be corn gojira Corn. Be great. Dude, everyone's hair looks so. Right. Uh, uh, Caleb, me and you look the coolest. I don't know. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> looks, Brian looks like. Uh, that guy that guy's real yeah oh, small shit. forehead curly hair kurt um uh, caleb this is for you um christopher lias okay. alice is who's more awesome due to album sales corn or john mellon baller i'm gonna go with corn what you think corn sold more records than than john mellican no Okay. But, All right. Good is, question, though. It is. The Guitar Man 45 is going to see Roth in April. Where? Where? <laughs> like through his, if you find out where he lives, you're going to walk hospital? through the window <laughs> in the hospital. <laughs> no, Yuli John Roth, you fucking idiot. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> Yuli. <laughs> I just saw <laughs> Roth. Roth. <laughs> Oh. Rock is playing at the senior home. So, so, so many actionable movie? parts of this show tonight. <laughs> Caleb, Caleb, read this. Great show, boys. Got to run. Practice summer nights for tomorrow. See you. See you, Ryan. See you, Ryan. Take care. Yeah, tomorrow night. Bye. Summer nights. And, uh, tomorrow Sunday, night. Sunday before summer nights. Before Beast Sunday. Company will play summer nights. Summer nights. How big is it? Happy spring. Happy spring, everybody. Summer night. <laughs> we got R2, R3 knocking on the door. Knocking on the uh, let, let him in, Trev. Let him, let him in, Trev. Where's Trev tonight? I haven't seen him. I, I haven't know. seen Tony see in a while, too. I don't know where he's been. Trev's in the anal amphitheater at home. Yeah, where's yeah. Fruitcake? The anal amphitheater. I'd like to say hi to John Mancuda, who's watching. What's up, Mancuda? Oh, What's it's up, is here. There he is. <laughs> Just creeping in the shadows. Quiet as a mouse. Look at all the people here tonight. 
We love uh, Schmitty. Yep. The fuck hut. That's that was his old uh <laughs> Be casa. His old stomping grounds. Yeah, now it's the anal amphitheater. It's crazy. Stack of scrotums. Yep. Everybody say hi to Mancuda in the chat. We got to do a giveaway in a minute. There you go. How are we giving it away, Jay? Giving it away, give it away. We just want to do a uh I don't know. Spin spin. Yeah. So hashtag hashtag lick my grundle. Hashtag kernels. We don't have to do hashtag, right? Is anybody that's commenting? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Everybody comment in here if you want to win some kernels. A two gallon fucking bucket of kernels popcorn in time. Black it for Easter. And uh, you got to be uh, continental United States only. Sorry, you hosers up in Canada and everywhere else, but uh, that's the fucking rules. And suck it if you don't like it. Ed DeBrill, though, I don't know where Ed DeBrill is. And uh, while we're doing this, while everybody's commenting, geez, I got to take a leak so bad I can taste it. So, two gallon. Bucket of popcorn from Colonels. You just got to say hi in the chat. Say hi to Mancuda. Why don't you? I always like seeing Rob Dwarves' name because he always thinks it's Dwarves. He needs to get like a little midget is his uh, avatar. That'd be amazing. What's up, Jeremiah? Jeremiah Wise. Wise man cometh. Oh, Bent Tom. Bent Tom's here. Bunch of people just hanging out backstage. Didn't want to comment. Now coming out because they want some kernels. That's right. It's all good. What's up? So Tom? Sunday night, 9 o'clock? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. For yeah. 40 grits here. Talk about giving guitars away. It's going to be amazing. So make sure you got all tune in. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. <clears throat> Do I need to make a uh, promotional slide for that guitar? Yeah, I'm not sure which guitar it will be yet. So, okay. but when I when I know, I will let you know. You'll be the first to know. Right. Okay. Thank you, Kurt. So we're giving away two guitars in the year 2024. To our valued listeners and viewers and lovers. Yep. All right. You want to do this, Jay, before it gets too late? Yeah. Yeah. We got 30, 32 entries. And I'll ask, I'll, I'll see, I'll ask nicely and see if possibly, um, Quentin, no, I actually didn't. Um, we'll see if we can throw in a free bag of chocolate cashews. I'll ask. Can Can't promise gotta, anything, but I'll ask. Answer this question while I get ready to draw. No yelling on the bus! They're probably the same, <laughs> but I I, I uh, prefer D'Addario, but, you know, that's up for uh, personal preference. I like Caleb, I think, is endorsed with Ernie Ball string, so he's going to say them. And Brian, you like Dunlop? I do. Dunlap. Dunlap. I'll take either or. I, it doesn't, I don't care. Depends on what I have. All right. 33 entries. Here we go. We rocking it. Last, last chance, everybody. Do you have any music, Jay? Thank you. We're going for a two, two gallon bucket of Colonel's popcorn in time for Easter Sunday, everybody, so we can watch Cancer Christ on the Bees Company show. Oh, yeah, let me. Oh, he's gone. He left. Yeah. <laughs> See how long it takes him to get back in. Should I, should I draw before he gets back here? Yeah, he's completely gone. Go ahead. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Let me comment. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, here we go. Steve. 
in the middle. fucking gander here. Oh, 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 oh. Hell, 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 storm. Wait a second. Does Hellstorm win all the time? I don't know. Try again. <laughs> Hellstorm, where do you live? Honky Tonk Man. <laughs> yeah, I got a long side burns, got my hair slicked back. <laughs> Hashtag Reagan. <laughs> Coming to your town in a pink Cadillac. I'm just a honky tonk man. Is he here? Hellstorm, you here, buddy? Hellstorm, is Someone check the chat. Oh, Brina says he's uh, disqualified. He lives in Iraq. Okay. Oh. No, he lives in Nashville, doesn't he? Yeah. If he's not here, I'm redrawn. Give him, give him a, a moment. Six seconds. There he is. There he is. And he says he won before. Oh. He's like, I don't want that. All right, he's giving it up. Well, yeah. skip, right. skip, skip, give it to skip. someone else. Here we go. Skip, skip, but you know what? Skip. Key it up, Jay. All right, let's do it again. Let's go with. Uh... We're shooting for a two gallon bucket of Colonel's popcorn here. Let's see who's going to win. Uh, and it's going to be. King Draft 55. Hey, 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 what? yeah. Uh, oh, ho, ho. oh, take a fucking gander here. All right. <laughs> my popcorn. Why don't you the fuck come, man. Chocolate can't have shoes. Oh yeah, then. Fifty-five <laughs> <laughs> here. Oh yeah, then. You, you better be here. He's from Russia. It's Perinus. Did you hear that song? It was a big one. Better hold. Your nose and close your mouth. About to knock your motherfucking ass, ass out. This my knockout gas. Shoot some blast. Your nose is from the ass. Straight gas. Yes, gas. Yes, yes. Oh, straight thriller. Underwear killer. Blowing it up. Just call me Bartilla. When I fuck, I ain't got no shame. When I fuck, find someone else to blame. When I fuck. <laughs> is he here? Farting's <laughs> my game. He's here. Yeah. He he's yeah. Yep. Awesome. Congrats. All right. Send me. Where is it? I got Ooh. it. Bye, bam. Uh, Sorry. Bye, 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 bam. Tonight, like within the next five minutes, open up another screen, another browser. Email me your name and address. If you want to yep. do, if you want to do one more, Kurt, because whoever wins this one, I'll give it away. And then I gotta fucking be the middleman and get you the shit and send it to you, and it won't happen. Do you want me to do it? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. We'll leave this up. We'll leave this up. All right. Can't try 55 is the first winner. Thank you, Brian. It's very nice. Yes. You're welcome. Are you going to do a two gallon uh, bucket of popcorn or a gift? Two gallon and and some chocolate covered cashews. Not them darts. Get the real. I'm going to get some of the cashews to Quentin James. (laughs) (laughs) Are you ready? Let's do it. Are you ready? Oh, the biter. Oh, we got two winners. So Jimmy can't drive 55. Email that email address with your info. What's Tell me what he won. Owner. Uh, he won a Sibian. <laughs> that will be, that'll be shipped to oh, you he's tomorrow. Be Lightly used. Lightly used. Lightly used Sibian. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> so bite, Biter, make sure you email us ASAP so I can uh, get that out. Mm. Yeah, look. Yeah, Ryan fucking thought he was going to, oh, I'm going to stay here. They're giving shit away. I can hand <laughs> deliver those to Biter. Some he lives that. two states away. Does He's it? really leaving now. Okay. Jimmy, you won a uh, two-gallon bucket of popcorn from Colonel's Gourmet yep. Popcorn and more. Coming your way. 
Oh, Randall's in attendance. You don't want to feed your neighbor's cats. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. There you go, everybody. See that? Do it. Take advantage. So, uh, Kurt, what else is new and exciting in the land of make-believe as we're finishing up the show? Andy, Andy, Michael Smith, Randy Price, fifty-one fifty-five. I guess I got to read them all. Ben Tom, all Dave, all night. Paul Martin Wood, Sherman Callahan, Ray Hawkins. No, fuck, I'm trying to read the goddamn fucking patrons. You picking up another window, you fuck. Mackie Mojo! I didn't see him in the chat tonight. He was here earlier. She's got a good day on Tuesday. False flag. Polly Balls Nuts, the Oceanator, Joke Riddler, Royal Lag, and fuck. Fucking wrong! Fuck you! Wrong! <laughs> wow, this is fucking going amazing. Right? Yeah, um, if you guys weren't paying attention, that, those are our patrons. Those are our top tier of awesomeness here on the Under the Bus Network. So thank you to those guys. Because if it weren't for you, we'd still be fine. But no, we but we really do appreciate it. So thank you. I'll try. The fuck are you doing? What were you saying? Hey, Smitty's a patron. We got to ha- add him on there. I know. Sorry, I Smitty. I didn't get the notice. Oh. What the fuck, Smitty? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at Caleb's face on the on the thumbnail, looking for like what's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Is this in San Francisco? Whoa, that's loud as shit, isn't it? It's almost as loud as Caleb's guitar. Mm-hmm. No way. Okay, here Nothing we go. is. Go fast, go fast, go fast. Go oh, fast, no. bro. Why, bro? Oh. Why, bro? <laughs> that Prius took it pretty well. Go fast, go fast, go fast. Go, go fast, fast. Bro. Why, bro? There's a owner jam sticker on the back of that Prius's window. Owner <laughs> jam sticker. In memoriam. It's like he's breakdancing on the roof of the car. Right? He's he's in the, the sunroof. <laughs> oh my god. Do you think he was saying why to the person driving the car? Why you're on the street? A How car. Dare you. Go fast, go fast, go fast. Look at those roads. Now, why would you be doing that with a skateboard yep. on those roads, dude? Is that Row like ads. Lombard Street, Caleb? Row ads. It looks like San Francisco. Yeah. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Look, they have they have a whole crew of dudes out here filming. Is there is there a street sign in the clip? I'm um, going frame by frame. Um, we can. We can oh. Google Earth it. Well, see, there's somebody filming there. Somebody filming here. Yeah. There's definitely going to be a stop sign. And that person just watching with a coffee or whatever. Oh. And then. And then, boom. <laughs> nice blue, new blue Prius. Paint. Boom. Bye, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, how, what's the insurance claim for that? Monique has a great question, Bees. Life insurance because he's dead. <laughs> nah, I think he's going to be all right, actually. So, 
Well, well, how does the claim go in? If you're the driver of that Prius, mm -hmm. what happens? I, I don't know. Oh, um, stop things. No, I'm just trying to think what I would do. Because I wouldn't put a claim on my own policy for that. Um, it's not... I, I probably would go after that person because they ran the stop sign. So they're, it's their negligence. Um, but, but also I'm not sure what the damage is to like maybe the hood. Negligence. The back bumper. Yeah. Wait, does, does the skateboard have to obey the stop sign? Yes. <laughs> you can get a moving violation on a bicycle. I never see. Yeah. What if you're on I your head? Bike, I never see bicyclists stop at a stop sign. Oh, Caleb, yeah. don't get me started. Fuck. Or Where's Mike? Right. But then again, I never see cars <laughs> stopping at stop signs anymore either. So it doesn't matter. Nothing mm -hmm. pisses me off more when a bike's on the street when there's one of those bike lanes right next to them and they don't use it. Yeah. And oh, the yeah. speed limit's 40 and they're going 27. Get the fuck over. Mm -hmm. yep. I'm with you. Yep, the best is when you, when you come to a stop, a four way, uh, and someone's on your right coming, and you, you're both around the same time, you know, yeah. Yeah. and you're slowing down, and you know, like whoever gets that, that complete stop <laughs> first has the right, and they just say, screw it and go. I, I always dart out. <laughs> oh, like, just almost just to, hit their back yeah door. just to, just to give them a little scare like you know like if because if, if i'm like you then we're having an accident you know? <laughs> if i'm like you we're having yeah, an accident there was two we're idiots having, in this we're picture. having an accident yeah i hate that i'm throwing a hot cup of coffee right up right just on like i'm a dick hi i'm a dick <laughs> announce myself as a dick let's do it jay all right more skateboards yeah this one isn't uh well you'll see it's more of a fucking idiot <laughs> you kidding me <laughs> oh, oh teeth. yeah oh, teeth and my hymen oh i just broke my nose <laughs> Oh, bro. Oh, oh. He was still coming down when that thing. For that trick. Damn, son. Choppers. <laughs> Great sound. Mm. Ooh. Taking a dick to the face that quick. Damn. He looks like costed his parents. <laughs> no, I broke my nose. <laughs> the sound, right? Oh, dude, there's teeth coming out. It's a sixty-five hundred dollars in dental work, right there. Ah, I broke my nose. My mom's gonna be pissed. Oh, my mom's gonna be pissed. I broke my fucking nose. Oh, I broke my fucking nose. Oh. God damn. damn it, Brody. <laughs> like it, dude, skateboarding is like 99% pain, 1% yeah. cool, man. Like 99% yeah. pain. And you use 5% of your brain when you're on it. And failure. Dude, broken ankles, <laughs> fucking broken Rips, wrists, broken ankles. Like, uh, yeah, dude. Broken hands, wrists, <laughs> broken nose, broken that teeth. That guy's jacked, though. He's ripped. I mean, he's been lifting. <laughs> so I'm at the gym. Does the Jay Hannon work out? All right. Now, remember I, I told you guys last week that I had oh. another ladder. I had another <laughs> ladder mishap oh. for you. <laughs> ladder. <laughs> but I'm oh, like, ladder. Like a, ladder. There's a double kill coming, right? Come on, ladder. <laughs> Don't let me down. Can I borrow your ladder? Ladder? <laughs> Batter, batter, swing, ladder. Here we go. <laughs> oh, no. America's got no talent. <laughs> oh, don't take your eye off the ball, son. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
I, dude, I love the delay with the body coming down. You know? I'm like, where's the body? Oh, there it is. It always comes down. <laughs> Just some straight cheeks, right? Oh, it's no, it's back, back Jay, cheeks. I got, I got an idea for that picture. <laughs> what with his ass? Yeah, I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> this sound, it sounds like a fucking feral animal. Damn. That ladder fall on him as well. Oh, it might have. <laughs> it, his head hit the bricks on the left. <laughs> as it fell. It oh, yeah. oh, What's that, out. Caleb? Yeah, uh, I, I see that. He's out. I think what it's is a fatality. It? fatality. He went to sleep. He went to sleep for sure. <laughs> he went to sleep. <laughs> Plumber's crack on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> is there a sound when his head hits that that uh, that edge? Boom. Oh, and oh. then the ladder for good measure. For good, ma for good measure. <laughs> good measure. And then the fucking roof coming down with it. Look, look, it looks like it's raining shit. <laughs> the roof is on fire. <laughs> right? The roof's throwing its poop at them. <laughs> oh, God. Let's do slow mo on this one. Hands in pockets, hands in pockets, looking down, kicking rocks. <laughs> I love that dude. It's like, I should grab something, but. Quick decision. It's not going to work. <laughs> no, like, no. Wow. His last moment of consciousness. Waking up with your fucking <laughs> ass cheeks out, man. <laughs> right, and that's just his back. That's like. What 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 kind of ass do you have to have a back like that? <laughs> ass back, ass back. Yeah. Look at it. look at it. It's like you just see his his back there, and then one frame later, his ass. Whole ass is out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man! Don't don't report us out there if you've saw. If, if, his pants are dropping faster than Kurt at Chippendales. Well, it's blurry too, so yeah. you can't report this, right? No. Oh, that's that's, that's his ass. back. That's not his butt. So, yeah, it's yeah. his back. It's a backyotomy. <laughs> you know, his buddy is lucky he didn't try to go in for the save. His I see buddy. what you did there, his buddy. Yeah. <laughs> his butt. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it looks like it's raining shit. Look at this. Yeah. And stay out. <laughs> Dude, the head hit that edge. <laughs> the fuck are you doing? Too good. Too friggin' good. Jay, did you get that picture I sent you? <laughs> I'm checking right now. Oh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Can we show this? Yeah, but right. we might uh, we might have to merge the two together. At we some point. might have to. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh man, it's too funny. I love dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> come on we gotta put something on there that says not a real photo <laughs> oh, it's too good Bro it's not a real photo oh man <laughs> it's not it's not that's is that suspenders as well? Like suspenders underneath the t-shirt? <laughs> Who made that? Cobra Kai. 
That is so bad. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's not real. Public service announcement. That is not Caleb's ass. Yes, it's not real. It's co it's Cobra Kai's. Uh, uh, it might be Quentin's. That's wrong. It might be. Uh, <laughs> All right, take it off, Jay. <laughs> you told me to bring it back up. No, no, get it off. Brutal. <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. Happy Easter, everybody. And again, if you fucking were the two winners of the Colonel's two-gallon jug popcorn. Let me see if I got any emails. Email. One more time. We'll run it across oh, the bottom. We got, got them both. Them? Okay, well then, screw it. All right. Those will get sent out tonight, and hopefully you'll have your popcorn tonight, tonight. by Easter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And again, tune in to B's company this Sunday at nine o'clock Eastern. Yes, yes. Okay. It's gonna, it's gonna be a treat. Mm -hmm. An Easter treat. Have a good rest of the week, everyone. We'll see you soon. And uh yeah, have a great night. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Kurt. <laughs>